Hello everybody and welcome to episode 6 of our My Team Career Mode. Here we are for the Spanish Grand Prix and we're going to head straight into the Pirelli Hot Lap we've got here. I've chosen the Auto Cross, something a bit different. I'm not really doing Pirelli Hot Laps outside of Career Mode so that's basically why I'm doing this because I don't really have the chance and we nearly missed that one just taking the racing line we nearly go well, we nearly just forget to drive to be honest <laughs> but we're just gonna constantly just do this for the re for hopefully another minute or so and yeah that's pretty much what's going on here if we get gold remember that's an extra a thousand plus acclaim and 100k 100 grand in the um, bank account for our Flabbergast Motorsports team and yeah this is obviously the second of the new reprofile tracks for this game we had Australia and now uh, we can't actually get up to it yet but the first actual well the only corner that's actually been reprofiled is the turn 10 it's been made flat or rather it's been made a lot more flowing and it's mainly because of the motor GP but to the line that's only silver but silver will do that's 500 and plus a claim and 50 grand in the bank account and we're gonna quickly simulate that subscribe guys keep like the video keep notifications on we're gonna quickly simulate through the practice programs and right now you can see I'm gonna get that chassis upgrade and that durability upgrade I don't want to get too much durability upgrade so so we're not gonna try and do that let's head straight into qualifying And this was the corner that we were talking about and as you can see I completely forget to drive to I was looking at my phone so I forgot to actually steer my bad and just kind of gonna put us under a bit of stress or rather just try to make sure that this lap is a good lap and it's probably gonna be fine for a banker lap but it's not gonna get into Q2 for sure especially with the um, tyres that's been in the gravel trap already so we're gonna go to the end of the lap and heading round the final corner that's probably my favourite corner it's just so satisfying Hamilton's right on our rear end we're gonna let him through that's enough for P5 and at the end of the session it's P17 so this lap needs to improve and look at that we're already five temps up Lose a bit of time on the exit but gain it back again and we're going to head straight into this corner. Quite nice entry for us and on the exit that's just about enough for us. And heading up the hill lose a couple hundredths of a second but not too much. Latifi is going all out of shape there, I'm not sure whether or not he's on the flying lap or not. But we're now losing a bit of time in the dirty air however we gain a lot back and heading through the Mickey Mouse t um, chicane of turn 14 and 15 and heading on to the final corner we're eight temps up now and to the line will that be enough to get into Q2 it's P14 now let's hope that it is enough but you know the AI can improve quite quickly on this game and if the track starts ramping up you've got no hope and as you can see we have no hope and we are out in Q1 for the first time this season may I add that being said that is minus our debut in Bahrain let's head straight into the race and see what we can do from P18 
The Spanish Grand Prix has been a permanent fixture on the Formula One calendar for over 30 years now, and for good reason. Do you remember Michael Schumacher's absolute dominance here in that rain-soaked Grand Prix in 1996? That day, he took his first ever victory for Ferrari, and we've had many more iconic moments since. It's a sellout crowd of 140,000 here today as we await lights out for the 730 meter sprint down into turn one. This is a 2.9 mile racetrack overtaking is challenging through the 16 corners, but there's still a lot of high speed excitement to be found, including the flat out turn three and the terrifying blind right of turn nine. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position, and the smooth operator Carlos Sainz completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Russell, and Sir Lewis Hamilton, and Perez, Bottas, Magnussen, Fernando Alonso, and Lando Norris, Mick Schumacher, Ocon, Daniel Ricciardo, and Joe, Gasly, Vettel, Lance Stroll, and Thomas, Theo Porsche, Albon, Latifi, and Yuki Tsunoda. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Natalie Pinkham joins me once again in the commentary box. It's fantastic to have you with us today. I'm curious, though, how do you think the drivers stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into turn one, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It'll keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't well, let let's talk strategy first off, off. And we are in P18. And we're going to try and do something a bit different here. We're going to get the warm-up phase for the hard tyres done on the formation lap. So we don't need to do it in the race. So we're actually going to start on the hard compound of tyres, boys. This might be... A bit of a tricky one, but I'm confident we can make it work. We're going to end the race on the softs as well, so we could start on the softs and go to the hards, but I don't want to risk it. I want to get the warm up phase okay, so out of the way the straight away so that we don't lose time okay compared to the AI who warm up their tyres very, very quickly on this game. And heading into our grid spot now. P18 on okay, the grid. What can we do from here? It's now five lights and it is lights out and away we go here at um, Barcelona Catalunya circuit and we have got a decent enough start. We get the scroll and we're chasing after Sebastian Vettel. We're going to make a dive bomb. Juan Yujo puts us off a bit there but he gives us the space on the inside we go flying around the outside of Ricardo, and all of a sudden we gain five places. We're just gaining time, like every single start, and hopefully it continues like that. But we've been tagged, we've been tagged by Ricardo, and he got all out of shape, and we've been spun around, we've got damage. Hopefully, it won't be enough damage to make us actually pit, and we don't pit, we remain in P. 15 this is now but that is really annoying because that's put us out of our comfort zone here and Teo Porcher is right behind us so obviously we've got damage he doesn't we've got slower tyres he doesn't we've got different strategies as well bear in mind so we're gonna let him go through and we're gonna we're gonna see if he can catch up with Gasly unfortunately well he does but not enough to make an overtake just yet. Here comes Stro up the inside, and we're going to just about cover off the inside before the breaking zone. We are pushing and we are pressing to do our best here. We want to catch up with Porchever in one ride. We've got gravel on our tyres now. This is going to be very tricky, and we go over the kerb, and that's given us floor damage. And you may think, no, floor damage isn't that bad. 
we've seen it last game and it wasn't that bad. Most of the downforce in these new ground effect cars come from the floor of the car. So we will have a major loss of downforce for the rest of this race. That could be um, that could be very, very tricky for us to continue. And Stroll gets past us as well, just to put, just, it's just gonna add to a very annoying moment. We have a go up the inside, but we can't quite make the overtake stick, unfortunately. We're going to try and press on, and at this rate, we're just getting overtaken by a Williams, guys. Mate, there's no actual point anymore, like, genuinely. We're gonna keep on pressing again and hope that maybe this time we can potentially go up the inside, but we just don't get the exit. And the downforce is re the lack of downforce, and we've been tagged again by Sonoda. Man, this is. You got the fuser damage as well, bruv. Look at this. There never was actually a gap. He went for it. Look at that. Man. Mate, this is just embarrassing now. And at this rate, bruv, look at the look at the lack of downforce we've got. We've been overtaken by the last car. We last now. And we still haven't made our pit stop. We're gonna dive up the inside just a more like a sympathy move, really, but there's no point. And having thought of that, it's I'd say it's about time and we might as well just save the car because you know, no point in carrying on. That's our race over, guys. We retire from the Spanish Grand Prix, unfortunately. And ironically, none of it was our fault. We were just taken out, bullied for the entire race. Well, what a drive that was to take the win for Ferrari today. Natalie Pinkham, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out of the track was. Speed. It sounds like an awfully reductive statement, but fast cars win races, and we saw that today with our win. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance in today's Grand Prix, and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. Well, see how the driver standings have changed. what a Although nightmare race for us, wanted, and if qualifying wasn't bad enough, so then, Natalie Pinkham, who would this you very much is bad enough, and well, my driver of the day has let's put a thorn in our back heading into Monaco, and weaving through the well, I don't know what please. more to say let's really, to the we're going to we're gonna struggle a, a lot to make up places in Monaco, obviously. Though of its tight nature, it's going to be very tricky to make those passes. So every pass is pretty much ten times more important there. So really having the downforce in the corners is what we need. So we want to try and get some more aerodynamic stuff. Look at that. Vettel was quite helpless there, to be fair. And I was just spinning into him. No hope for either one, either one of us to avoid it. Ricardo takes us out, and he's our rival as well. Really puts, well, really like, just very, just makes it more annoying if anything. We're gonna get this sponsor event fundraiser, whatever you want to call it, out of the way here. We got a two week period, a two day period I should say. So we're gonna choose the sponsor event fundraiser, looking at the, um, the things it can do in, and affect like how the car works and how the team acclaim is we're gonna do that and this is an interesting one 
I think if we decline, we're not gonna. Nothing's gonna happen. But if we accept, we got, we got some money to kill, so we're going to accept it and get those extra resource points. And as you can see now, I'm doing a one-off livery for the Monaco Grand Prix, and this is what it looks like. I really like it, and that's gonna wrap up the video. I know it's a bit more of a shorter one than usual, but. It is what it is. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.